If you look at one-star reviews from drive throughs in your city, you'd probably find some outrageous reviews. But if you set the radius to the entire United States of America, you'd find this video. I have located the most concerning one-star drive through reviews in America, and today, I'm gonna put them to the test. However, there is one rule. I have to leave a five-star review at each drive through and I can't lie. First, we're going to Albuquerque. <laughs> New Mexico, home of Blake's Lotta Burger. It's a fast food chain based primarily in New Mexico. They're everywhere. This one is famous because of a review from this guy. We'll get to that soon. Let's just say I'm wearing all black because this might be my funeral. <laughs> that was actually a coincidence. But check out these reviews. Please forgive me. Lore's review is profane, but don't worry. I'm censoring it with this sound effect. Blake's Lotta Burger. So, yeah, yeah. Hello. Once upon a time, food was mouth-watering and affordable. Today, my wife bought our last food from your restaurant. Shame on you, you greedy Blake's Lotta Burger. People I'm the man who put you greedy Blake's Lauterburger people on the map again Blake's Lauterburger you cheese on one end chili on the other Burger King one star That's crazy Obviously, Loray is upset. I think he actually wrote this review from his wife's account, which is not a good look for her. Let's see what Janet has to say. Burger was raw. If you try to pay with coins, they will scream at you. One star. I'm gonna test that theory. I went to the bank, and all I'm allowed to pay with is these coins. This should get interesting. Wonka said this. The green chili burger is the worst thing I've eaten in my life. No flavor, just spicy. One star. The green chili burger is kind of the main culprit on most of these low reviews, but if you want to be taken seriously by the staff, we gotta talk about the name. Okay, here it is. The most unhinged review for a drive through restaurant in America. PC said, I requested crispy bacon on a breakfast burrito. Cashier responded with an attitude saying, bacon is always crispy. I replied, okay, if not, I'll ask for it to be cooked better. She acted like she had more important things to do and started mocking me to her co-workers. I ate, suddenly felt sick. I started vomiting immediately. Blood pouring out of my nose. I walk inside and the girl who took my order was nowhere in sight. I asked the rest of the employees, what did you put in my food? Everyone acted like they could not speak English. No one said a word. I was obviously poison. What is wrong with people these days? One star. All of this because he asked for a crispy bacon. This sounds fake until you scroll down and he literally posted pictures of his bloody nose and vomit baking on the asphalt of Albuquerque. Honestly, dude, if you came into my restaurant asking, what did you put in my food? Looking like this, I would forget how to speak English too. I'm <laughs> not dealing with that. With all that being said, my instructions are clear. Let's do this. That's right, I'm renting cars for this video. Jeez. This drive-thru looks cute. Like, I feel like this could be really yummy. Or, if these reviews are correct, it's gonna be the only drive-thru of this video. I am going to some crazy places if I survive this one. Like, literally the most insane reviews I could find in America. Taco de bank. May I start you off with a walking taco? A what taco? A walking taco frito pie. What, what in the world? Is it good? Oh, yeah. That sounds fun. I mean, yeah, I'll get started with that. Right on. What else can I get for you? Can I also get the green chili burger? New Mexico style. That sounds yummy. You got it. And your drink's gonna be? Can I try the iced coffee? And what kind of flavor do you want on your iced coffee? We have vanilla, mocha, caramel, and chocolate cherry. You're good at making all this sound yummy. I might have to get the vanilla. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> what else can I get for you? Lastly, I'm gonna get the breakfast burrito with crispy bacon. That one I can't do. We actually stopped serving breakfast. Can I just get like a plate of bacon? I got you a side of bacon. What else can I get for you, dude? That's gonna be it. I just I just want to confirm that the bacon's gonna be crispy. I will make sure it is crispy for you. You're the best. That's it for me. You got it. 26, 56, it's order. Okay, she was so pleasant. That was the most fun I've had ordering at a drive through my whole life. I am extremely nervous about the coins. Here goes nothing. Well, 26, 56 in total. Alrighty. That's not 30 bucks right there. Alrighty. You guys can keep the change. I gotta count it real quick for you, alright? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Thank you. Don't wait, wait. Oh, yummy. Thanks. I feel so bad. Why'd I do that? Right Sounds good. He literally counted that within moments. So far, the staff, five out of five stars. The coffee. Oh my gosh, that's good. <laughs> it tastes like a dessert. Now I'm interested to see what the food is like. My phone overheated. Welcome to Albuquerque. <laughs> I mean, the guy at the window's name is Blue. I told him I came all the way from Texas to come to Blake's Lotta Burger, and he was like, you won't be disappointed. That's a big statement. I'm gonna go scope it out inside, and then we feast. Me when Haley asked me to go on a date. <laughs> Bro, they got the radio blasting in here. Love hearing the local radio station names. Albuquerque weather. It's only hot. Green chili burger. I think the crispy bacon is in here. Fries, they look good. What is this? 
What in the world is this? Walking taco. This is the taste of Albuquerque. Unfortunately, first I'm gonna try the bacon. I can't get the image of PC's face out of my mind, but this bacon is crispy. Now I'm just worried about the poison part. And after taking a look at this walking taco, I decided to start on the burger. This is the infamous chili burger. Hey, cheers guys. I have a pretty high spice tolerance, so this should be fine. This thing smells like a ghost pepper. I tried not to panic because I was in public, but I'm in a lot of pain right now. The fries are very tasty. And after another bite of the green chili burger, the only thing keeping me under control is this iced coffee. And then right on cue, I met the sweet lady that took my order. I think you took my order, yeah. It's so good. I got a meal cut out for myself, huh? Yes. That's so fun. You're so positive, by the way. I love it. What's your name? You, Melissa. Melissa, nice to meet you. you. So fun, I had a good time. Hey, Melissa, she took my order. So sweet. <laughs> Cheers, thanks so much. Detroit, Michigan. The reason I came to Detroit is because behind me is the lowest rated McDonald's in America. I feel like that's a pretty absurd statement and the fact that I found it, like I found the one, it's exciting to me. Is there hope for a five star review? Let's investigate. There are a lot of reviews about long wait times. There's no one here. Is it still open? Is it still like an operating business? I don't know for sure. The drive through is empty. Anyways, here are the one star reviews that I'm going to test. Ariana G said, employees at the window on their phone. Fries cold and of course, I ice cream machine broken. I was given drink with no ice and they say they are out of stock. How are you out of ice? It's snowing. One star. Ariana G? Is that who I think it is? Thank you. Next. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Harry B said, Review should be zero. Bacon on burger, missing. Milkshake, missing. Kids meal apples, missing. Nothing good about this. One star. Was anything there? <laughs> When you got to the window? Anyways, Rick A said, You will lose a rim in their potholes. Watch out for the giant potholes. Can cause real damage. Lots of huge potholes. One star. Okay, a car just went through the drive-thru and I actually got it on camera. There are definitely potholes. 100% that's concerning. And lastly, Crystal S said, Junk, trash people bad. Service never get orders. Right foods burnt. One star. This review feels like a puzzle where I have to select a combination of words that make the most sense. And I don't know if I could pick two, <laughs> to be honest. All right, these reviews are extremely concerning but it's my job to test them. Let's get it. All right, I'm pulling up to the McDonald's drive-thru. My rental car in Detroit is a Jeep Gladiator. Mystery rental car. Never thought I would drive one of these, but here I am. So beyond the reviews I just shared, honestly, most of the one-star reviews are about the food being like moldy and stale and cold. So that's what I'm mostly concerned about, but my order is going to be based strictly on the one-star reviews I just shared with you. Here goes nothing. What would you like? Can I get a quarter pounder with only cheese, ketchup, and bacon? Can I get an iced coffee with extra ice? And then I'll get a kid's meal with apples? What kind of drink? Oh, can I get a Grimace shake? We don't have them anymore. We haven't had them for quite a while. Oh, yeah. How about the shamrock? Anything else? Looks good. Thank you. Thanks so much. I just ordered absolutely everything that the reviews told me not to. I literally traveled across the country to come here, and I expected the worst rated McDonald's in America to be different, but now it's my turn to pay. Okay. I'm about to drive over some potholes. Golly. Thank you. Goodness gracious. Something is off about this drive-thru. No one was in the drive-thru line when I pulled up, and there's cars in front of me waiting for their food. Yeah, iced coffee. Yep. Was it two? No, just one. They for two. Okay, thank you. Free iced coffee. You pull up to the second yellow pole by two or three minutes to order. Wait no fries. All right, thanks so much. No problem. Not gonna lie, things are going suspiciously well. They did tell me to pull forward and wait two to three minutes because they're making more fries. However, I already got them. That's good. The only thing I'm missing is my kid's meal. However, I got my milkshake, which might be a bad thing, actually. Look at this thing. I'm convinced this thing is actually producing light. Also, oh, here we go. Thanks so much. Have a good one. What I'm trying to say is we need to regroup. It's crash. <laughs> so good thing it's a gladiator. You know what? I just took a look at everything. Something's not adding up. Three drinks, zero straws. Now this McDonald's is either big on reducing single use plastics or they forgot. I don't know which one I'm rooting for at this point, but I'm going to go inside, get a straw and eat this meal. I have made it inside of the restaurant. It is not closed. I have located a straw as well. The only thing is there's absolutely no one here. What is going on? It's lunchtime. I'm just gonna ignore that for now. Since they got my orders right, really the last thing to check is if there's actually bacon on this burger. 
there is absolutely bacon on my burger. The quality of the food looks good. Like it looks on par, if not better than an average McDonald's. This McDonald's is also very nice. Like I feel like it's elevated. Look at those lighting fixtures. That looks like the type of lighting fixture you put in a million dollar mansion. What I'm trying to say is I'm gonna absolutely devour this meal and then write my review. While I was eating my McDonald's burger, something unbelievable happened. Well, it's actually not that crazy. My dad texted me. That's a pretty reasonable thing that would happen to me. But my dad texted me a photo of his home cooked burger, which is like my favorite meal in the world. And all of a sudden this one didn't taste the same, but at least I got this toy to play with. I finished my meal. It was delicious. I can't believe I came all the way to Detroit, Michigan to literally go to the most normal McDonald's ever. I really just don't understand why it's so empty. To me, it has to be for a reason. Either way, I have to be honest. And with that being said, here's my review. say this, but I am in Omaha, Nebraska, and I bought merch. Behind me is a drive-thru. You can see the cars entering to capture their food. It is so windy and so cold. I could really go for a hot meal. So let's hope these reviews aren't true. Tutty, who is literally from the same town I was born in, said, I am in town from great state of Texas. Okay, Tutty, me too. Yeehaw. And as usual, I head quickly to Runza. Never mind. I stopped by this Runza at 8.30 p.m. and asked for the Runza meal, only to be told they are out of Runzas. How in the world are you out of Runzas? Your name is Runza. If this is how this location operates, if this is how this location operates, I think I need to figure out how to make my own kind of Runza sandwiches. One star. Tutty. I love you, but you don't feel like a real person to me. I need answers. Dr. Jim. Ooh, we got a doctor on Yelp. Okay. <laughs> this is the worst Runza I have ever seen. This is the only Runza I've ever seen. So let's continue reading. The last time I came here, I got a burger, right? Burger was dried out, cold, full of grease, resembling that which was cooked the night before. The fries were cold as ice. I don't understand the lack of warmth in this food. It's like they got their utilities turned off and they're still trying to run a restaurant. I sent a complaint to corporate. They ignored me. Not even so much as a up yours, Jim. Screw this Runza. Don't make this mistake. Two blocks north of here in the Nebraska Furniture Mart is a Burger King. Far better food. One star. Dr. Jim is so, so upset. The utilities turned off comment is wild. I will be trying that Burger King he mentioned after this. And what does he mean it's in the Nebraska Furniture Mart? I can't wait to see that place. Isabel said, the only consistent thing in my life is Runza forgetting my ranch. There are two certainties in life. One is death and the other is Runza forgetting my ranch. One star. I know what sauce I'm asking for. <laughs> Isabel is in pain. Next is Rob K. Hi, Rob. How are you? You doing rob he looks nice hard to believe the good name of runza gets run through the mud and has their reputation turned up blake slaughterberger just from this location alone the wife informed me it is only worth eating at weekday at lunch apparently that is older crew who not only cares about quality food they treat everyone who passes through with the utmost respect one star the good news is i'm here on a weekday at lunch the bad news is none of us can ever use a period in a sentence ever again because rob stole them all enough said my rental car in Nebraska is a Jeep Compass. Yay! I love Jeep Compass. I have a very clear order of operations. Let's do this. I'm really excited to see what he means by older crew. This menu is interesting. Hey, so I'm, I'm actually from Texas. What is a Runza? A Runza is beef, cabbage, onions, and spices made into homemade bread. Awesome. Well, let me just get the Runza meal with a side of ranch. Yeah, number one was, what was the drink on there? Ooh. Let me just do a uh, water. You want to say anything else? That's going to be it. Thank you. All right. I'm going to discount. I sent you out of <laughs> Thanks. I don't know if it's because I'm from Texas, but I've literally never heard of a runza in my life. It looks like a hamburger if it was in hot pocket form. She said there's cabbage and onions in it. I'm scared of both, but these are the things we do to test one star reviews. Okay, it's my turn. Let's see if they forget my ranch. Hi, 967. Hi. All right, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Doing good, first time to runza. I'm from Texas. Oh, <laughs> and there you go. Awesome, thanks so much. Oh. She was older. That's sweet. Her reaction to me saying that I came all the way here for this was quite suspicious. She said, oh, inside this bag holds the future of my Yelp account. Will I break my five star streak? Check it out. Where's the ranch? Where's the ranch? <laughs> You're never gonna believe this. I'll meet you inside. Yelp.
You'll never believe it. You're actually never gonna believe the news. They didn't forget the ranch. That's at least three stars on my review. There's like four people in here and they're all looking at me. Yeah, oh, we're clearing out. Why is everyone clearing out? So the Runza meal comes with fries. Yes, I'm in cinematic mode because Runza is a movie. It also comes with ranch. Don't look at my fingernails. A drink. I got water because I'm being healthy. <laughs> And arguably most important, the Runza. Today is the last day I'll ever not know what a Runza is. I feel like it's slappable. Is that weird? That was borderline Chipotle burrito. I did pay $10 for this meal. Oh, it's got the shivers. Hope I don't get the Runza after this. Bro, that's so good. literally an altercation at the counter. The woman came in, said, where's my ranch? <sighs> That's crazy. Now I don't know how to feel because I got my ranch. I can only speak for myself. That's all I can do. And I love Runza. This might be my new favorite restaurant. Okay, but how are the fries? Yes. Bro, those are so mm. If Runza is this good, I can't wait to try that Burger King down the block in the furniture store. So I pull up to the Nebraska Furniture Mart, but I don't see a Burger King. I see a Subway. Does Dr. Jim know about this? Hey, excuse me, is there a Burger King here? No. Okay, was there? It used to be at one time, but now it's Subway. Okay, gotcha. Awesome. Thank you. I'm living Dr. Jim's nightmare. It's me. I'm the hooded figure. It's actually hilarious to think that I'm spending an entire week and hundreds of dollars to travel to drive throughs to test their one-star reviews. How did y'all let me become a YouTuber? My next stop is in Austin, Texas. How's it going? Yeehaw. I live here. A random Canadian number texted me an address saying, yo, you gotta try this drive through which is concerning for multiple reasons, partially because this drive through has no reviews, but also who lives in Canada and knows that I'm filming this video? Well, the address is right at the end of this street, which is extremely sketchy, because because there's nothing here, but I'm not gonna pass up the opportunity to be the first review ever on a drive-thru. That being said, let's drive to the end of the street. As I drove down the street, I, I actually started panicking because there are no buildings on this road. No way. Are you selling Joyride? What can I get you? Um. Okay, I parked down the road. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what that is, but I'm extremely uncomfortable right now. Oh my gosh! Were you the unknown number from Canada? This all makes sense that Shoppy would put this together. Did you hear about the Joyride launch? Yep. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, since Shoppy is here, this is the perfect time to say thank you for the support on my Joyride launch. If you're just now hearing about this, Joyride is my candy. I launched our sour strips with Shopify and we completely sold out of all of our sour strips in five days. I'm still blown away. That was like a month ago. Seeing all of you guys post stories and shorts, trying it and, and loving it, it makes me so happy. It's crazy. As a kid from a little farm town in Texas, all I gotta say is dream big. Over the years, I've started a lot of things and I always use Shopify because no matter how hard something seems, they make it easy. This is just the beginning for Joyride. We're already getting news from retailers on our sour strips and new candies coming soon. Ooh. So thank you. And with that being said, we are officially back in stock, baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. You really taking that? Okay. All right. And thanks to Shopee, our store is running smoothly and we have all the tools we need to make sure the best candy on earth gets to you fast. Thanks for the support, Shopee. If you're thinking about starting a business and you want the best sidekick in the world just like me, sign up for a free trial of Shopify using my link, shopify.com slash Ryan Trahan. Love you, Shopee. Do you need a ride? Okay. To Canada? I called Shopee an Uber and then made my way to Kansas City. Where it is extremely cold. You wouldn't really think that, but it is. made it to the city of angels shawnee kansas i cannot stress this enough that out of all of the fazolis in the world all of them this is the fazolis that i had to come to i honestly find it pretty crazy that a fazolis even has a drive through i just don't see a world where an entire lasagna should be handed to someone through a window oh well look what time it is i don't have a choice here are the one star reviews i'm testing several of them are about long wait times like 20 to 30 minutes even up to 45 minutes to get a single order of ravioli what the heck however michael has a different bone to pick come on Fazolis, are you that annoyed with me for 
ordering a water that you hand me this tiny little water out of spite? Do you really think this is going to motivate me to buy a full-size soda next time? Well, guess what? There won't be a next time because you just had to be petty about a man and his hydration. One star. I mean, that cup looks really little. Or Michael has the hands of a giant. Greg's review is my worst nightmare. This is my first one-star review ever. Look at my Yelp status. I'm elite for a reason. Someone puts their identity into their Yelp status. <laughs> no, it's fine. I would too. I review a lot of places. This is the worst. If you come here and can tell they're all upset with each other and still choose to stay, that's on ya. Lasagna. One star. Is this how you pulled elite status, Greg? Food puns? That's <laughs> so bad. Eve said, I wish I could offer a better review, but it simply can't be justified. Nothing about this place is okay. It is impossible to know when the drive-thru will be closed without going there. And if it is, your chances are a wasted trip. Don't come from out of town for this, Fazolis. One star. Eve, what if I told you I came from out of state? I traveled so far. I hope the drive throughs open. No one's there right now. Let's hear from Tim T. We might have hit it on a bad day. Yeah, we might have hit it on a bad day. One star. <laughs> That's the spirit, Tim. Lastly, Kelly blessed us with the script of the next Avengers movie. Me watching the manager chat with customers for 10 minutes. Finally, she walks behind the counter. Then my son says, can I get pasta with no sauce? And the manager's all like, you want what? My son is obviously embarrassed. And I say under my breath, what a Blake Slaughterburger. Then the manager looks at me with the anger of a thousand sons. And my son says, pasta with no sauce. The manager is silent. I'm canceling your order. And I'm like, I'm never coming here again. Mom, one star. Okay, I don't know whose side I'm on. Like, I can't tell who the bad guy is in this review. All I know is I'm rooting for the sun. Get this boy pasta with no sauce. It's simple. Look, I came out to Kansas for a reason and my instructions are clear. I got a free upgrade on my rental car today. Ford Expedition. This car is way too big. I just had to drive to Fazoli's. That's all I needed to do. But I'm not turning down a free upgrade. I can't tell if the drive-thru is open. I really can't. Thank you for choosing Fazoli's. Go ahead and order when you're ready. All right, they're open. Yeah, can I just get pasta with no sauce and a water cup? What kind of pasta would you like? How about fettuccine? Fettuccine. Anything else? That's gonna be all. Kind of 10.40. Okay. Uh, why did I just get charged $10.40 for pasta with no sauce? That water cup better be huge. <laughs> this sign does say made to order fast, fresh Italian. And it says my food is gonna be hot, fresh, and worth the wait. Kind of crazy. They're just like self-proclaiming. There will be a wait. Hi. 10.40. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Is this the normal water size? Yep. Awesome. Hey, cheers. Thanks. This is a small water cup, but to be fair, that guy just has massive hands. And unfortunately, I can't say the same about myself. Everything went smoothly in the drive-thru. I've got my bag of Fazoli's, but I still have to write an honest five-star review, and I'm going in the restaurant. First impressions, it is kind of lively in here. Like, the vibes are good. They are playing the weekend, which is always a good sign when you walk into an Italian restaurant. She told me to worry. Let's check out our pasta. So this is what my meal came with. We have water cup, pasta, and breadsticks. Water test. Mm. The water is small, but it's good. <laughs> Breadstick, I didn't even pay for this. Wow. Breadsticks, 10 out of 10. That's at least two stars on the review right there. I don't know what's crazier, the fact that Kelly left that review or the fact that her son orders this. This is crazy. The fettuccine pasta appears to be yellow. Mm. It certainly lacks the flavor of a traditional dish, but that's probably because I was forced to get no sauce. Mm. The pasta is fire. I think I need a little bit more intel. I'm gonna ask some customers their thoughts. All right, I'm here with Ray William Donald. I'm here with Ray and Donald. How long have you guys been coming to this Fazoli's? Hi there, fine here, yeah. Are you guys a big fan of the restaurant? Yes. What's the best thing about Fazoli's? Everybody, all the employees are so friendly and mm -hmm. so nice. Okay, I was told to get just pasta with no sauce. Just <laughs> not not the best thing on the menu? No, I would not get that, <laughs> ever. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. Appreciate it, Ray. Thanks, Donald. I'm on my way to the next city, and this plane has a window in the bathroom. I asked the guy next to me to get a video out of this window, and guess what? We have made it to Chicago, Illinois. Illinois? Illinois. Help me in the comments. This is the most exciting drive through by far. It's called Cosmics. It's brand new, and after driving for like an hour, it looks like I'm in the middle of nowhere. And then I found it. I have truly saved the best for last. Cosmics. 
Woo, spooky. It's not spooky. This is the only one in the entire world. I'm in Bolingbrook, Illinois. Pretty much the most epic town I've ever seen. I don't know why we're not all moving to Bolingbrook, Illinois, but maybe this segment will change your mind. Cosmics is basically a McDonald's, except they have fun drinks, snacks, etc. Some critics are saying the menu is stupid. Insanely long lines is a common theme. One lady even waited four hours, according to some local news outlets, and she said it was worth it. So what's the truth? Sean M said, the churro frappe tastes like gasoline. One star. Okay, well, <laughs> that can't be healthy. But you don't fly across the country to Cosmics to make good decisions. Rocky said, McPop were good, but I just want this chain to fail, so one star. One thing about Rocky, he's gonna say what's on his mind. If I lived in Bolingbrook, I might be preying on the downfall of Cosmics too. Dang, those McPops look good. Ava had perhaps the most outrageous wait time I've seen so far. Hopefully a typo. Bad AF. Don't go or else. Wait in line 8 to 13 hours daily, and it's anticipated to get worse. What? That's the entire day. Anyways, the reason I wanted to highlight this drive through other than me just being curious because it looks really cool, is because Danny left this review. Came here to see what all the hullabaloo is about. I order a chai latte with almond milk, no foam. She hands it to me. I can tell from the weight, there's foam. So I hand it back to her and tell her, I asked for my drink with no foam. She says that the ticket says no foam. I said, I understand. The ticket says no foam, but there is foam. Wait, what? What? Danny keeps going back and forth between the word foam and phone. And that makes things very very difficult to understand. I handed it back to her. She reluctantly takes it. She hands it back to me a minute later, says, have a good day. It feels the same. I said, there's foam in here. She said, no, there's not. I don't have time for stupid arguments, so I leave. I pull around the corner and open it up. <laughs> wow. Instead of them remaking this for me with no foam, they literally handed me a cup that has no foam, but it's down about a quarter of the way. Are you freaking kidding me? This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Just for the heck of it, I took a sip. Sucks. So even if they could get the phone thing right. Bro, can we get an up? Like, what do you mean? He said phone four times in this review so far. Phone. Danny's silly. It still sucks. I went back and asked for a refund and this older lady starts arguing with me. Oh my gosh. I know what I'm talking about. A customer knows what they're talking about. Cosmic joke. One star. Danny, I'm sorry, but it seems impossible to please you. I'm not even sure you know what you want. I'm ordering a gasoline churro frappe, McPops, a chai latte with almond milk and no foam. And no matter what's in the cup, I'm going to hand it back to them and say there's foam in here because that's what Danny did. And lastly, we're going to see if the wait time is truly 8 to 30. 13 hours. I'm really excited. Let's do it. My final rental car is by far the best. It's a Chrysler minivan. There definitely is a line, but there's also four lanes. It's a Thursday at 2.30 p.m. So it's kind of insane that there's this much of a wait. But regardless, here goes nothing. I don't know if I should go in that line, that line, that line, or that line. The good news is Ava's review already busted. This might not even be 8 to 13 minutes. Okay, here's the menu. Here we go. That's where we order. Awesome. What can I get started for you? I'm going to get the churro frappe, chai latte with almond milk and no foam. Gotcha. Lastly, I'm just going to get a mixed bag of McPops. Great choice, at least for yourself, because I honestly don't believe that they're for sharing. I'll bring home some to my wife too. Of course. Yeah, that looks good. Your total today is gonna be 2045. This is the first time I've ever seen something like this at a drive-thru. I ordered and I stay here until they tell me where to go. There we go. Window one. You got a deal. Oh, I'm so excited. I really don't want to do the foam thing. Hello. Good, good. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks so much. Sorry, Danny. I chickened out. I'm having a good day. I don't want to be a menace and say there's no foam in there. There's literally no foam in there. Oh, that smells good. Anyways, look, John says the churro latte tastes like gasoline. So, cheers. Oh my gosh, not gonna do that again. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I think Sean has a point. It does kind of have a semblance of gasoline. I feel like I'm sitting at a three out of five stars right now. These McPops need to be miraculous for an honest five star review to come out of this place. One bag for me, one bag for the missus. I land at like midnight and Haley's picking me up from the airport, so she's gonna have a reward. Here we go. Oh, these look good. I obliterated the bag, but look at that. They're like little donuts. Is that jelly filled? What is that? Wow, that was so good. I got two more. First big pop was chocolate filled. Let's see what this one is. Mm. Oh, whoa. Am I, cry Am I crying? Am I to cry? This is a little embarrassing to say, but this is the first food in a long time where I just had to close my eyes. Like I had to shut them and just feel 15 out of five stars. <laughs> and lastly, looks like a brown sugar cinnamon type thing. I have a feeling this is going to be my favorite. Let's see. That was like an apple pie situation. The best one is the hazelnut for sure. Mm. Oh, yep. Wow. After doing some serious thinking, I wrote my final review.
but my journey isn't over yet. I landed at the airport, surprised Haley with the McPops, she was excited, and the next evening I had one more thing to do. My dad made us his famous burgers. I think if this video confirms anything, it's that we need an update on this guy, and nothing beats a home-cooked meal. Haley and my dad surprised me with a cake for hitting 15 million subscribers. This is the physical manifestation of us hitting 15 million subscribers, and Joyride being back in stock in the same day. Link in description to buy sour strips. Thank you guys for 15 million. Watch another video. YouTube thinks you'd like this video. What did you do? You could have a really good time watching the video on the screen right now. Click here.